Good morning, Maniac. In today's video, we're going to be talking about installing this combiner box. Combiner box. So let's get to it. Previously on Gus the Struggle. panels in parallel on certain series we're going to be using this combiner box which will be linked below and it has a male and female ends for everything so we have four panels so we got one that has four settings four females and four males it's going to have a dc output this input and a ground so as you can see right here it has everything that it needs it even has an on and off switch uh, just so if you want to do any maintenance in the electrical room you can do that as well so we're going to be linking everything together from the solar panels to the combiner box, and we're gonna have four gauge wires come out of here. Uh, but we won't be actually linking anything to a an actual system yet. We're just gonna be having the wires hanging down so that we can go ahead and do the insulation, and the wires will be inside the insulation. Hold up. <sighs> All right. So some of the materials that you're gonna to need to install the combiner box are gonna be something like this, or you can just use the entry glands if you really want to. But this covers up the hole that you're gonna use for the entry glands to go into. For the, for me, four gauge wire to go through. Of course, you're gonna need some butyl tape to seal everything. We're gonna be using rivets to go ahead and attach them to the actual bus, so we'll need a rivet gun. In order to drill those holes, you're gonna need the actual drill. To strip the wires, you're gonna need a box cutter or something along the lines of this. And then to make sure that it stays in place inside the box, you're gonna need a screwdriver with a Phillips head. Ooh. This bus is hella dirty. So, the reason why we're using four gauge wire instead of any other gauge wire is because from our research and, well, let's face it, Mike from Bussy Mike Busface, we decided that the max output of these solar panels is going to be around 40 amps. I looked at the description sheet for this actual solar panels, which are 300 watts, 24 volts. Um, and from the actual description sheet, it said that the max output is going to be around 10 amps. I know according to the calculations, it would be somewhere around 12.5, but they specifically said max output was around 10 amps. So if you add all those up together, it gives you 40 amps, which the four gauge wire should be enough to draw in those 40 amps up to a max of 20 feet, according to the research we did and Mike from Bussy Mike Bus Face. You can't just keep talking and hope the right words are going to come out. <laughs> That's exactly what I do. And 90% of the time, it works. Keep going. In actuality, we also looked up this chart right here, and this chart right here will tell you for the 12 volt system what gauge wire to use for the length of wire that you need and the max output of amps that you're is going to be going through the actual wire so first things first before we do anything to the actual roof i'm just going to clean it just to make sure that anything that we adhere or any hole that we punctured is clean and it uh, it'll actually stick to whatever we need to
Okay, I think that's gonna be good enough for us for right now. Oh, being on the bus is scary. Well, for me it is. I'm, I'm afraid of heights. Good enough, we're gonna go ahead and place this straight in the middle. Why? Because that's where all the wires reach. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and attach this to the actual bus. We're gonna use rivets, we're gonna drill the holes. I'm gonna use the butyl tape. So this is a little montage of me doing that. Like I said in one of our previous videos, actually the video where we mounted the outdoor lights, the butyl tape does not stick very well to the silicone. So if you're gonna put butyl tape anywhere, make sure you peel just a little bit of silicone up enough so where it has a contact, so the butyl tape has contact with the actual metal because it sticks a lot better to the metal. Boom, 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 boom. Now you said harness it. Hmm, boom. Boom. Okay, I have relocated workspaces because that is very narrow, very small, and I can't do it over there. I'm getting frustrated and I don't want to. So I have one of my four gauge wires and I'm gonna go ahead and strip just a little bit off so I can go ahead and place it inside of the combiner box. didn't work that's better all right we got one side done I hope that's enough then we're gonna go ahead and do the other one about the same all good now okay now we got two great pieces of wire man She's thick. Okay, since we don't have red and black wire, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mark which one's positive and negative with, liquid, with electrical tape and blue tape. So the negative is gonna be the electrical tape and the positive is going to be the blue tape. Positive wire, gets a colored tape. So the red, red wires are actually gonna go from the positive of the solar panels to a bus bar over here. Each one of these comes with a fuse in here, 12 amp fuse. And then all the negative goes to a bus bar over here. And it goes to a negative over here and a positive over here, which will then go out here through this terminals over here, through these glands into the actual batteries. All right, for this next part, it'll be easier if you have some needle nose pliers like this ones. So you can go ahead and guide it into the actual area where it needs to go, which is right here into these holes. I'm gonna be quite honest with you. It's just me up here. Meredith is doing more stuff downstairs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and show you the finished results. Just cause it's gonna be easier for me to do it instead of recording it. If I were to record, it'd probably just be struggling a lot, which is fit for the struggle bus. All 
right. All right, guys, so we are out here. Today is the day of the insulation. Um, last time that we left you, uh, I was installing the combiner box up on the roof. We didn't get to finish that quite yet. So that's what we're doing here today, early in the morning. It's six o'clock, 6.15. So if you see right here, we went ahead and installed the combiner box. This is pretty much all the way done. It's mounted. Uh, I attached all of the actual solar panels onto here, which is basically click and play. And then I have this gland right here uh, that I just need to basically mount to the bus, uh, as well as drill a big, big hole into the bus so that we can go ahead and put the wires through. Uh, I'm gonna drill a three quarter hole. I'm gonna put a grommet around it. So it protects the wires around the hole itself. And then we're gonna put butyl tape around the actual gland itself. And then um, like we did with the combiner box, rivet it onto the bus. First I'm gonna drill a small pilot hole somewhere right here. All right, so we got a hole right here, grommet right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place the grommet inside the grommet is perfect now basically you have to get all this wire through that little hole oh one wire through now we gotta get this other one all the way down there this is a two-person job if you're recording by the way it would be a lot easier if it were a two-person job but right now we're pressing time and we got a lot of things we got to get done. So Meredith is Meredith is helping out downstairs. I keep dropping this camera and this is Meredith's phone and she's going to kill me. It's got a bunch of wire. <sighs> think positive, think positive, think positive. All right, both wires to the grommet into the actual bus. Now I have to somehow put this down right here, make sure it stays. So just like I've said before, if you have a uh, tropical or silicone coating on your bus, make sure you go ahead and scrape that off because it won't stick very well to the beetle tape. So I went ahead and did that. Now I'm gonna put the beetle tape down, uh, put this on top of it, drill the holes, Put rivets in it and hopefully be done with it. So some steps you couldn't see because we didn't record them were us uh, basically drilling another hole through some of the vertical pieces inside the bus. So we can go ahead and put them through there and route them over to the electrical room. We made sure to put grommets on those two. We didn't get to the part where we put the grinding wire inside the bus. Uh, so we'll have to do that later. I made sure to go ahead and put one end inside of the combiner box and make sure that gland was nice and tight and then the other end because we didn't put it inside the bus I taped it with electrical, electrical tape make sure that no moisture or water got inside that uh, wire eventually what we'll do is drill a hole into the bus put a gland in that area and basically uh, ground it to the chassis of the bus so I know this video was all over the place we apologize about that we just got a lot going on mentally in our minds and then physically with the insulation I hope that it made somewhat sense to you. If it didn't, please leave a question down below in the comment section. We would love to go ahead and answer those questions um, as much as we can. We hope you enjoyed this video, find it entertaining or educational. If you liked it, please give it a big, 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 big thumbs up. If you have tips and comments and questions, leave them in the comment section. Follow us on all of our social medias, our Facebook, our Instagrams. 
our YouTubes as well. Give us a subscribe. If you're subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. You're the reason why we do this. It helps us a lot. It encourages us a lot to keep going and not quit and basically just keep pushing forward. And if if you're not subscribed, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button because it'll help us even more and push us even farther and make us go all, all the way. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, don't forget to enjoy life. Be positive. And keep going places. Suck us. Oh my god, what a little horse. What did you call him? Horse? Jesus Christ. He always, gets the, he always gets the zoomies after he poops. You do too. <laughs> <laughs> Now, to actually place it in there. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing.